nothing like living a simple life. Something about those aches and pains from working on the farm. Hey guys, it's Eric here at Far Point Farms in the mountains of North Carolina. I've got a really cool video tonight. This one, I, I'm, I've been looking forward to doing this for a while now, and I'm going to run you through this. About three years ago, uh, maybe only two, I can't remember at this point to be honest, I made two videos. One of them was how to mount and dismount tires using the Harbor Freight Tire Changer. Did really well. Great, great video, and I'm glad that people realized how inexpensive it is to do your own tires. Pretty much pay for a set of uh, what you would pay at the shop for the very first set and after that it's all it's all money in your pocket so that was really cool then i made a follow-up video to that how to balance the tires using a bubble balancer also a harbor freight product both those videos did well apparently in one of those videos i talked about how you can do alignments here at home and everyone was like what i'd love to know how to do alignments at the house well tonight i'm going to show you how to do alignments at the house i have with me right here this this is the Bavor alignment kit and really, it's a, it's a more precise way of doing a very old-fashioned alignment. And so I'm going to unbox this, but uh, you're just going to be taking measurements. And you can do caster, camber, and toe. So what I'm going to be doing with this one is just a simple toe, just to give you an idea of how simple it is to set this thing up and do it. But look at what comes in the box from Revore. And, and you know, I kind of looked at their website and was looking at the stuff that they offer. And I came across this and I said, wow, this is exactly what the channel needs uh, to show because I've gotten so many requests on how exactly did you do that? You know, <laughs> that was pretty much the questions I keep getting. You say you can do alignments at the house. How do you have an alignment machine hidden away somewhere? And, um, and no, I don't. Uh, but using this, which is a really nice way of doing what I used to do, you can do alignments. This is a plate, right? I'll set that aside. And this is a plate. And if you look carefully at these, they have little places to stand. A little carrying handles, but they also have some notches here. And that's what we're gonna be interested in, these little notches here. We're actually gonna take measurements across the front and rear of the front wheels. And we're gonna be able to tell, if you look at it at like toe, if we have toe out or toe in. And so that's how simple this is. And of course, geometry is probably no one's favorite task, but I promise you this geometry is simple enough that you'll be able to get it. We're just gonna be taking simple mathematic calculations and we will make our minor adjustments using our tie rods and tie rod ends. We're gonna adjust those to do any alignment if needed. The car, I don't know if it needs it or not, but it's been about two years. So let me, Put this down, I'm gonna get the camera a little closer in and show you the other pieces that are in this box. And then I'll pull my wife's car in and I will show you how to do an alignment. All right, so here we are again, like, let me show you these panels. These are, you can see they're aluminum, cast aluminum, and they're fairly thick, but they sit upright by themselves. You don't have to have them against anything. And so it doesn't, this, this kit, this alignment kit is not gonna be taking up, much like the tire changer and balancer, they don't take up hardly any room in your garage. What the kit comes with, we'll open up this one first. So the very old fashioned way of doing an alignment at home involves using tape measures and measuring across the two tires to find the, you know, the difference. You know, is it like a 16th of an inch or, or how many millimeters out? And you really, you just put tape down the driveway and stuff. It's, it's a pretty rudimentary way. You're gonna get close. You're not gonna get as good as a uh, computer program would allow you to do like a Hunter alignment machine or a John Beam or whatever. But with this, um, having stationary plates and having these, which are offsets, right? We're actually going to be able to get right up to it. So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna put these in and I'll, I'll go through this once we have it on the car, but we're gonna be able to line these up so that we can get it right up flush. Oops, sorry about that. With the rim, we're gonna be hitting it so it's exactly even. It's not offset a little bit or not towed in or towed out accidentally. This allows us to touch the rim in exactly the right place so we know that everything is set up right. And once that's set up right, now we're gonna use our tape measures and it's gonna go right through the center of that alignment machine and it's going to come out and you're going to be able to see, oh, okay, well, uh, I need to turn a little bit this way, turn a little bit that way. Really, really cool stuff. It does come with a manual, 
I'm not sure if this manual is going to show us how to how to do an alignment. I think this is just more of a setup. Yeah, this is just how to set up the alignment machine. So and there you go. You can see. Um, and it says uh, gauge is accurate to in 0.1 degree. Can be calibrated for non-level surfaces in, sec in seconds. And that's important too. That you know, if we have up and down issue or side to side issue where the ground's not flat, it can be a little harder to figure out what your measurements are. But this is nice. So toe measurements, camber and caster, all there. It does have a little bit of installation instructions there, which is cool. Okay, and then I don't know what's this here toe plate degrees conversion to inch chart. So it's actually, if your vehicle spec is 0.4 degree, the toe should be halfway between 08, uh, an eighth of an inch and 3 sixteenths of an inch measured by the toe plates. So it even has like a conversion plate. I'll stick that on one of these two so that that doesn't get lost. That's really nice. And then I did opt for the a little more expensive one. It's a digital protractor. So this one also takes some measurements and, and this sits on the unit as well and plugs in. And it has a 0.02 resolution, so this one's this one's pretty fancy, but it allows us to take measurements as well using um, laser sights. So, very cool, very cool, very cool. Okay, and that also comes with its own power cord and its own charger and its own manual. I'll go ahead and read through that as well. I think for this demonstration alignment, I'll probably just show you real quickly how to set it up. And what I'm going to do with this is this is actually going to be a, a two-piece video. In this video, I'll show you how to set it up. And give you a rough idea how to do an alignment with one of these. I think in uh, on the Farpoint Restorations and Repairs channel, you go over there. I'll show you both how to do a full alignment using this setup and show you the differences between just using tape measures and also using the protractor. Fair enough. Okay. Then I'm going to pause the camera, pull my wife's car in, and I will show you how to properly set up this cool device from Vivor. All right, it's really hard to see on this side just because I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm working on. You can see seats out of a car right there, but I'll explain it on the other side. But you're going to set, for the toe anyway, you're going to set one plate on this side and one plate on the other side. I'll show you on the other side how setting the plates up with this is done. Now this side has, and it's a little hard to see, the protractor attached to it, so you could do a camber adjust. But that's a different process that, again, I'll go into a full alignment on my second channel with this. And the way this is done, now, first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to make sure that your tires are inflated to the proper spec. A low tire can cause a variety of issues when you're talking about the geometry of a vehicle. The second thing you're going to want to do is if the vehicle has hubcaps like this one did, you're going to want to remove those because we're going to be taking a measurement from the edge of these rims. Or in this case, I'm going to take it from the inside of the rims just because I'm a little close on these piece of wood here for doing this properly. Now I'm going to take my alignment piece right here and you can see we have these pegs that stick out. Hopefully you can see those, right? Those are adjustable depending on the vehicle size. You just loosen that up and move it around. And we want this to be sitting pretty much upright. We're going to lay those in there, put our board down and lay it till those line up pretty square. That looks good on this side. And that means when we pull this in, when we're pulling on both sides, and you're going to see what we're about to do here, that we have an exact alignment, right? We don't want to have guesswork. And when you do the, the string type alignments, which is the original at-home alignments, uh, well, you're going to get in the ballpark, probably good enough not to wear out tires, but you're not going to have a perfect alignment. With these, you should be able to get a pretty darn perfect alignment. The last thing you're doing, and they're already hooked up over there on that side, is you've got your tape measure, and you're going to let it ride through here. I've got mine in the bottom notch. You can use the top one, too, if you wish. And you're going to put those through, and then we're just going to tug on that a little bit to make sure that our system is perfectly tight. It's probably very hard. Let me move the camera closer in for you to see. It's probably not too easy for you to see the actual numbers, even in 4K, but pulling on both of these, you can see my alignment is actually very, very close on both sides. Right? Right about there. So a little bit of toe in is what I'm looking at. And in fact, in this case, that is the correct. Now, there is some math involved in this. I went online, and you can see right here that I got my specs, and it gives me my total toe. You're going to have to convert that first from degrees and you're going to be converting it into inches. This also has metric, but 
the degree. So if I have 65 in the rear and 64 and three quarter in the front, that means we have negative toe, but you have to figure out the degree angle of that. And there's charts online, uh, websites online that can help you with that. But for the most part, what you're looking for is either zero toe or slightly negative toe. And so in the case of this car, we have slightly negative toe. I will go ahead and make any adjustments if it needed, but first I have to do the math on that. Anyway, that's as far as I'm going to take this video. This is the Vavor alignment machine. This thing takes up no room, it's relatively inexpensive, and it's super easy to use. There, you do one alignment with this, one single alignment, and it has paid for itself. Well, alignment costs, in my area anyway, $109. So this kit here costs a lot less than that. So I just one alignment and you paid for it yourself. Also, if you just don't have the money to afford to do alignments in town, this is a great way to make sure your tires, if you put new tires on your car, don't get worn out. And if you're like me, a hobbyist who just loves to work on cars, does it professionally and privately, well, here's another reason that I don't have to give money for myself to somebody else. I can now mount and balance tires, and now I can do alignments as well. At some point over the course of the winter or early spring, I will break this down on a car that actually needs an alignment, and I will go through all of the adjustments front and rear with this kit. It is capable of doing caster, camber, and of course tow like I've shown you here. But I'll show you the uh, website that I use to get my angles based off of measurements. Thanks to Vavor, I'll leave a link down in the description below as to where you can get one of these things. And I really do highly recommend this. This is, this is like the modern version of a string alignment and it is way more accurate with these holdoffs and everything. It's just, it's just a great, great little inexpensive tool. Take care.